Hello everyone, I'm back. I know it's been a really long time since I've did a video. I've been very busy. We've had, ever since the week after Christmas on, we've had a lot of back to back to back company. So we've been busy with our company and then I did go home for about four to five days. Um, as I mentioned earlier, my daughter-in-law, we had a baby shower for her, so I went home to help with that. Ohio was cold and gloomy, so I was happy to get back to Florida. Although today, you can see it's pretty, it's overcast. I believe we're going to get some rain today. I'm wearing a jacket because it's actually a little cool today. But yesterday was um, mine and John's a three month anniversary living in the villages. So I thought I would just do a video on um, our experiences. Do I still like it? Um, have I changed my mind? What have I been doing? Am I getting involved? Am I meeting people? And so on. So first of all, am I happy? Am I still glad that I moved here? Yes, absolutely. I don't regret it at all. I've mentioned before that I do miss my family back home. Um, but, you know, I think we're going to go home about a month in the month of July. I'll go home a couple months at Christmas. And then if I get to be too homesick, it's no problem to jump on a plane and fly home for a long weekend. So that, along with my video calls to keep in touch, I think we're going to just be fine. Um, of course, they've got an awesome place to come and visit me now. So other than that, I do not regret my decision to move here. We've had a great time. We've met people. Um, we're a little bit more constrained because we do both work during the day. So we're not, sorry about the noise, some construction in the background. But we're not able to get out during the day through the week because we both work. So we're a little bit more limited on what we can do. I'll, I'll hear my neighbors talk about a lot of the uh, get togethers or activities that they're doing through the week. And I'm just kind of like, darn it, I can't do that. I'm still working. Um, but my time will come and there's still plenty to do on the weekends and in the evening. So what have I been up to? So we joined um, the South of 60 Club, I think I've mentioned that before, which is for residents that are uh, 60 or under the age of 60. Um, we attended their Christmas party. That was a lot of fun. We did uh, one round. They have a little group, like a subgroup within that called Nine and Dine, where you'll go out and you'll do um, nine holes of executive golf and then you'll go out to dinner with everyone after that um, we've only done it once they've had other days where they've done that but we've just been busy with other things i do plan to do that again but the one time that we did it we had a blast um, another thing that we with that club we also had signed up for a group where they actually match four couples, or you don't have to be a couple, you can be a single, but they try to match about eight people in a group. And then for three months, once a month, you will go out to dinner with that group just to get to know each other, um, make new friends. And then at the end of that three months, they'll set you up with a brand new group. So you're always, after three months of getting to know someone, you know, going out to dinner with them three times, you'll be matched with someone new, and then you'll keep meeting new and new people. So tonight is the first night of that. We're going to be going out to dinner, and it's usually not in the villages, usually. It can be, but I think they pick places you know, outside of the villages some like unique places that you can go and, and dine. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I've also had joined the women's working group. Some of the things I've done with that, I attended a Friendsgiving dinner. Um, that was fun. 
I attended a Christmas sock exchange and the other night they actually had a bunko event and I went to that that was a blast um, I'd love to play more bunko if you've never played it it's a lot of fun so I've done that those are the two clubs that we've joined um, we haven't really joined a lot of exercise groups or interest groups outside of that just because we have been busy with other things I am going to start teaching a line dance class down here um, that'll start next week I have a lot of interest in that so I'm really looking forward to that other things that we've done we did buy electric bikes love 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 my electric bike um, they should have made these a long time ago. I remember as a kid bike riding or heck even as an adult and you just struggle to go up hills or you have to get off your bike and walk your bike up the hill and there's none of that with these electric bikes. If you're going up a hill, which there's not a lot of hills in the villages, but there's some small ones here and there. So when you're going up the hill, easy peasy, it just kind of pulls you right on up the hill. So, if you're interested in that, check it out. We got ours on Amazon, and I absolutely love it. We do want to get more into biking and exploring on our bikes. So, we have that to look forward to. Um, I've made several trips to the pool, usually in the evening when I get off work. Made a lot of, um, or met a lot of neighbors at the pool. Let's see, what else have we done? I've taken some walks. There's so many walking trails around here. Just within our village alone, there's some great walking paths uh, around the ponds. So I've explored those. Um, me and John's played a little bit of bocce ball. We played pickleball once. Want to do some more of that. So that's kind of what we've been doing right now as far as keeping busy. We do go to the squares, not real often, but occasionally we'll venture over to the square for an hour or two. Um, I will say that I, I see that now that it's getting to be winter up north, that it is getting more crowded down here. And one thing we ventured out to do yesterday was they had a light party, an electric light party at, at uh, Sumter Landing um, Square. So we were going to go to that. Um, we managed to get there a little late, like maybe an hour after it had started. Oh my gosh. It was, there was, I've never ever seen the parking lots so full. You could not find a place to park. And normally there's tons of places to park. The traffic was bumper to bumper. So we changed our mind and we went ahead and just went out and got something to eat and then came home. So I think it's because it was such a big event that a lot of people went there. Um, we've gone to other celebrations at the square, like Brownwood had their... Christmas tree lighting, they had their Halloween party, and we didn't experience that. So I think it was maybe there wasn't as many people from up north who maybe come down here and stay six months of the year. But now I see what people are talking about when they talk about how crowded it gets, because um, we did experience that yesterday. Um, what else have we done? I love the performing arts. We've gone to a couple play, well, we went to one play, A Christmas Carol, that was fantastic. Really, really good, like a Broadway play. And then we also went to a performance called uh, Holiday Dreams, a lot of like aerial performance and that, and that was pretty, that was pretty good also. Would love to go to more of those. Um, so I'm going to add that to my list and see if there's any of interest coming up that we would like to attend. Um, still like going to Edna's on the green and hanging out there. It's just a, a really cool place to just hang out. 
um, have a few drinks and listen to some music. I will say I am, am starting to meet more neighbors. Um, one way to meet neighbors is at the pool, at the dog park. Those are really easy ways to meet your neighbors. But there's also almost every neighborhood, at least the newer ones I know, have their own Facebook groups. So if you join their Facebook groups, anyone can set up an event um, as long as you're part of that Facebook group. So we had, I know um, early on around Christmas, we had an ugly, one of our neighbors had an ugly sweater. I actually posted that video, a little bit of that video on one of the YouTube video or channels, but that was really good. It was a really fun driveway party. Um, the other day, I had another neighbor who was going to end us on the green and invited all the neighbors out for that. We went to that, met a couple more neighbors there. And then one of our other neighbors, uh, a lady in the neighborhood, decided to put together an event for us ladies in the villages. So she put together a Facebook invite and it was more like a ladies meet and greet at one of our um, rec center, our little recreational areas, the uh, pavilion there. And I think we had close to like 40 women show up. So that was really cool. You got to talk and chit chat and meet some of your other neighbors. So we are staying busy. We are meeting people. We're getting out. We're having a blast. I don't regret moving here at all. I really love it. Just being able this time of year to be able to get out and stay active, to go for bike rides and go for walks and, you know, go play pickleball. Or There's always, always something to do here. So we're having a great time. So just wanted to share kind of our three-month anniversary, how we're still feeling about it. It's really starting to feel like home now. So thanks for watching.